boom. Big heavy artillery barrage coming in. Right on top of us. And we are at full tilt now, folks. Full tilt firefight. Well, our boys decided to take a little bit of a long trip around here, and hopefully that doesn't cost us too much. Off we go, boys. Off to the rear. It's been a good fight so far. Hopefully our British friends can do better. Thanks for not helping us. Hello, YouTube fans and friends, and welcome once again. I am your humble and gracious host, humble and gracious as ever, Bank 60s. And this is my ongoing playthrough of Norbsoft Dev's awesome 19th century combat simulation, Scourge of War Waterloo. In our last video, we led Napoleon's Young Guard Division under Duchesne on the Waterloo battlefield near Plensonois pushing Prussian defenders before us where we could, encountering some pesky resistance from well-hidden Prussian light cavalry at one point, but receiving help in kind from our own skilled Lancer cavalry, driving the enemy away from our primary objective, the massive church at the center of town. Prussian defenders inside held tight bravely under heavy fire for several minutes before finally retreating to the hills along the main Prussian line, I highly encourage you go back and check out episode 9, Young Guard. Tons of fun in that video. Good as time as any now to remind you that if you like this content, give it that thumbs up. Thank you ahead of time. Subscribe to my channel. Found a pair of sunglasses at the gas station I want to buy. Also, hit that bell notification to find out when I drop new vids. Ooh, with glee, my fingers tap in front of me. The sunken lane is where we will be on the battlefield once again at Waterloo. Boy, this should be fun. 45 minutes of fun, indeed, as the first Niederländer Brigade at 1.30 p.m. June 18, 1815. The situation for our allied defenders. Your brigade of Dutch-Belgian infantry covers nearly the entire front of the allied left. The only unit in front of you is the 400 men of the 95th Rifles posted to your front and right in a sand pit. The French have been bombarding Allied lines all morning and afternoon, and the bombardment has been especially severe on your forward position. The enemy is organizing for what appears to be a large-scale infantry assault, as we know it was, by the French First Corps in history, which is what we'll be going against here. Our mission, hold the sunken lane against the probable enemy attack. Here we will have Bijlant's brigade of four battalions. One up front. The 95th rifles will be down in the sand pit around here. Four on the sunken lane itself. I would consider a victory just holding the line no matter what the points look like. For those keeping score at home, victory conditions according to the game's point system 4,000 points for a major victory, 3,000 for a minor victory, 2,000 for a draw, 500 for a major defeat, with 1,000 meaning a minor defeat. And I would say, since we're playing defense, I might edge my expectations for our role play's sake, bending the curve downwards somewhat for victory, you might say. We don't like to go necessarily by the game's timetable because I don't necessarily believe it's all that historic. In any case, I think 1,000 points as a goal might be realistic for us at our skill level and in this scenario. Hard pressed as the Allied defenders shall be. Courier message, headquarters, 2nd Niederlands Infantry Division, the Allied left, 1.30 p.m. June 18th, 1815. Mijin Alemain, it appears the enemy is preparing for a massive infantry assault on our position. Hold the sunken lane and utilize it for its defensive value. You may reposition your brigade as needed to provide the best chance for success. Okay. Before we jump into combat, I'm going to do my usual quick troop review. For starters, of course, it's worth mentioning that our troops all start laying down, which is smart. 
They've been avoiding French artillery barrages throughout most of the day thus far. This 27th Battalion Nord Nederlande Jägers Battalion of the 1st Nederlands Brigade is probably our best unit at seasoned experience. 809 good men who will be fighting to delay the French to our front. Uh, here we have the 7th Zuid Nederlands Battalion in Fanlini, uh, 7th Battalion Belgi, seasoned troops with good fine weapons, 701 men further bolstering our left. The 5th Battalion National Militia of volunteer quality, also a smaller unit, more Dutch-Belgian average troops, a little below average even. And the 7th Battalion National Militia, four volunteer quality, uh, once more, many more men in this unit, 675. More men, safety in numbers, hopefully these militia units here on our right flank with the help of the 95th Rifles up in the sand pit here might stand a chance against the French onslaught to come. Of course, worth mentioning, the sunken lane, which we currently hold, will earn us 100 points per minute we hold it. And of course, the French are likely to concentrate much of their effort directly at it. And away we go. First things first, we are gonna begin by sending skirmishers like crazy, man, like crazy, from this unit. And we're gonna lay them back down. Boom, big heavy artillery barrage coming in, right on top of us. Plenty of men out here. Ooh, these guys are taking a pounding, man. And here come the French infantry up over the ridge. Ooh, boy. That is a sight to see, my friends. That is a sight to see. Here we go. All right, we're gonna have our fellas stand up. Oh, fire. Now this hopefully will just buy us some more time. Let's see if we can slow them down. We'll fall back. These guys are already retreating. We'll fall back with these guys. The columns of French troops and the mass in their masses are coming forward. All right, these men. We're gonna get the fight started over here in the field. We've got some decent troops here. We're gonna have a flank here. All right, these guys will go back to the home unit. We still got our skirmishers out here on the right. Maybe we can get these guys to shake out again, buy ourselves some more time. For some reason, the boys decided to form a column and head back this way. I guess they were uh, hard pressed and freaked out a bit. But here they go, getting themselves in position. Nope, the rest of the unit head for the rear. Not a great start for our brave boys. All right. Here we go, we're gonna have a hole here. And we are at full tilt now, folks. Full tilt firefight. 8th Battalion of Militia's doing good. 27th Battalion seasoned troops are doing better now from the sunken road. Man, it's such a hot fight up here. Looks like we are maybe befuddling them somewhat. Their 
they're starting to uh, increase distance from us. And I think they're going to try to let their artillery help them out. Oh, shit. We're hard-pressed here. Forcing some of them back, but we're being forced back ourselves, giving up part of the sunken road, and our British friends over here aren't doing much better. I am going to be moving now from the right side of my line, the 7th Battalion, over here. Now, now, now. Go, go, go. We'll take command so that they don't stop. Got some brave soldiers out here, skirmishers that are standing strong on the left. Bend our left back just ever so slightly. Keep the defensive terrain. French advancing up the ridge now. And they're across the road on our left now, but face uh, strong British resistance here. We've got some help from AI friendlies. Here we are once again, <laughs> deep in the heat of the action at Waterloo with the first core assault underway. We're going to have to bend our left back a little bit more. 7th Battalion National Militia couldn't come soon enough. Nice help from AI friendlies right here. Nice help from AI friendlies. And it is just a slugging match here from the sunken road out across the field. French troops in one giant mass trying to overwhelm the Allied defenders with a mass of fire. And desperately, the Dutch-Belgian defenders do the best they can to try and hang on in the sunken road. <laughs> what an environment. Oh, little melee here. Frenchies broke through. Well, you, unit of AI British troops fighting the good fight. Are we going to send them running? Oh, man, it doesn't look to be many Frenchies left. What a fight right here. Awesome. Awesome. This is AI versus AI action, and bye-bye, Frenchies. We could probably exploit that. Well, our boys decided to take a little bit of a long trip around here, and hopefully that doesn't cost us too much. We've got a French unit surrendering. Good. Right there. Went running off to the rear. Panicked are the men of the 8th Battalion National Militia, the volunteers, and they'll head for the rear and probably will spend the rest of the day there. No, you men. We have a contested objective now. We also have extended our line to the left, maintaining assistance from the AI Brits to our left as the slugfest at Waterloo continues. Wow, what a cool looking fight right here. Here with this unit, we're gonna begin wheeling into the sunken road. This unit will get back to the AI to do with what they wish. I think I will advance them, though. And... Whew! <laughs> what a fight. I may be in... Oh, there, we ran them off. All right. Here at Waterloo, in a desperate struggle to defend the Allied center and left, and we've got some friendly AI canister fire tearing into the French ranks now. Uh, look, I'm gonna have the 7th Battalion withdraw, and we're gonna leave this to the AI Brits over here. I think that they can help us out well enough, although they appear to be bending over there. And we're gonna move the 8th, or rather the 7th Battalion militia back to our right. Once again, I'm going to try to wheel the troops into the sunken road. 
where they get the defense benefit and where they are now. And these troops are going to advance as far as they can to try to reobtain a position in the sunken road. Brits uh, appear to be beginning to break on our left. Uh-oh. Yeah, we, uh, we won't have enough points probably to surpass a major defeat even in, uh, in by game standards, but I gotta say, I'm kind of proud of the way my guys have fought, considering how they were kind of expected to be the lesser force. We've got plenty of dead, wounded Frenchmen out there on the field in front of us, I would say. Funny enough to feel good about. The line's not broken. Not by a fair stretch, anyway. These guys will retreat. Fine. If the Frenchies want to come up, we got a whole British brigade ready to tangle with them. I'm going to make a realistic move here. I think that uh, there's a good chance that in a position like this, the Dutch Belgians will probably, yeah, back up to the guns, kind of, and uh, back up to some of the support of the British troops behind them with the cavalry right here. I don't think it stands beyond reason for us to scooch back a little bit here. Even as the brave troops of the 7th uh, Battalion Belgian Line Infantry continue their advance into the sunken road. Oh, the French breakthrough continues on the left. First Corps making good ground here. This is where the British cavalry counterattack in the real historic fight became so uh, key. We have lost well over half our command in doing so. <clears throat> but here we stand. Here we stand still. With some support. Melee on the right, fighting on going down near La Isson. There's the 7th Belgian Battalion making its way to the rear at long last, along with our other militia troops. The 7th Battalion National Militia, they've had enough. They're shaken. Off we go, boys. Off to the rear. It's been a good fight so far. Hopefully our British friends can do better. Thanks for not helping us there, men of the Dragoons. Wish we could have had a hand from your sabers. Well, I would call this a defeat um, by the scenario standards, I suppose you might say, but um, I'm mystified precisely as to how I might have done a whole lot better. I might have uh, shaken out. Beyond saving for the British cavalry, which is now on its way, uh, we'll see. I mean, that's what it'll take. We need a counterattack of epic proportions from the Union Brigade here. We're fighting over here on the ridge with these French troops that just appear to be uh, keep coming. More bloodshed over here on the right. Just a terrible, bloody scene over here. Ah, golly. By the way, my brigade is still in the fight. We have uh, one battalion of 344 men remaining. Sorry, one battalion of 351 men remaining. Holding strong here. Cavalry doing good work over here, doing some killing. All right, get them, boys. Send them running. Yes, yes. Look at this. Okay. As was in history. Oh, the British cavalry 
uh, turns the tide on the French first corps in this sector of the battlefield, forcing some squares, a little bit of British infantry here to help support a British cavalry counterattack. You can see way over here on the left, it looks like the French attack may be losing some of its momentum. Uh, and British troops may soon be able to close the gap by meeting in these trees once again. And it looks like British cavalry may be able to push these troops off in combination with this British Highlander line infantry. Uh, here we go. Formation control begins. And uh, casualty count for the French right here will begin going up now that they're having the form square and we'll have uh, cavalry superiority on this part of the battlefield right now. And it's just a dirty, messy fight over here. Ongoing battalions just taking positions and getting hammered by canister and forming square where they have to. Bloody chaos. Um, still holding strong here on the ridge with these British troops that are helping out to our right. And we're hard pressed here as the defenders of Waterloo. We'll likely suffer a major defeat in the scenario as mentioned before. But I must say, uh, if I were playing this as an extended Battle of Waterloo, uh, I would absolutely consider this an unfinished fight right here, right now. Um, wait. We have a whole fresh British brigade back here that has not even fought a lick yet. And, be, and that's safe to say, that's to the credit of our brave men. Our Dutch-Belgian brave men here of the 5th Battalion still standing firm at the end of the battle as we begin to count it down. It would appear I may have been wrong about the British resolve over here on the far left uh, with uh, this cavalry refusing to come to the aid of our infantry that is hard pressed. This would be a tricky one to solve if I were the Allied Army commander here. Now, I probably would have already had these guys getting involved by now. Amen. Golly, look at all of this carnage, man. What an awful day. What an awful hour. What an awful 45 minutes. What an interesting situation on the whole, really. Um, I would certainly love it uh, if you added your thoughts in the comments below on as you see this whole thing develop here on the Allied left, knowing what else was happening in history, whether you would consider retreating if you were Wellington right here. I would love to hear your feedback about that in this one. This has been a bloody and crazy and tough and fun battle. I mean, we're going to take a major defeat from the game's eyes. I would keep grinding this out if I were playing the grand battle all together as the allied player. I wouldn't quit. I wouldn't call this a defeat. Not yet, anyway. The fight's not done. So, yeah, there we got it. All right. Whatever. Uh, I knew that our casualty figures would be pretty high, but I did not realize it would be quite so lopsided. And maybe there were some things that I could have done a little bit better there. In any case, man, as always, I just absolutely love what this game brings. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you are continuing to enjoy this content, please hit that thumbs up button. Let me know you like it. YouTube gods too. <laughs> and of course, subscribe to my channel. That helps big time. And hit that bell notification to find out when I'm dropping it new vids. Hopefully we do better on the next one. This was fun. I'll see you guys later.